Always happy to be joined by the head coach of the Clemson Tigers, Dabo Sweeney, couple of national championships. Dabo, would you come in in a most unusual year with an unusual circumstance without Tony Elliott? What's the number one thing you have to make sure that's accounted for and compensated for with his absence as a play caller? Got to get Streeter up in the box. Uh, <laughs> it's really that simple. Got to have, got to have, uh, you know, some eyes up there, and that's the biggest adjustment. You know, we all got to do a great job. Tony's, you know, he's such a valuable staff member. Does an amazing job. Always has. I've been with Tony 18 years. Played wow. for me. Coached him. Uh, he's, he's. Uh, I'm not that much. I'm not old enough to be his dad, but I still look at him as, as a son. And and so I'm just, you know, sorry he's not here. He's incredibly disappointed. He feels great and. Uh, you know, he's been zooming in on everything, but, you know, it, it's killing him. But, hey, we got to step up for him, and uh, we'll do that. So the big thing is putting Streeter up, up top, and, uh, and then let's go to work and see if we can get a first down. Start there. <laughs> get one first down. Dabba, you played there. in a lot of these, these big – Dabba, you, you've coached in a lot of these, these big games, and, and you obviously have a feel for what it takes to get your team uh, to, to play at their best. What, what in your mind through that experience – what, what, what are the key things? Is it the line of scrimmage? Is it quarterback play? <clears throat> what exactly do you think, uh, at the end of the day, these games typically come down to? Well, first of all, it's, it's belief. And, and secondly, you know, you can't start preparing now any differently than you did at any point in the season. If you did, you probably didn't do what you need to do uh, in, in, the, in the season. I mean, it really, I think routine, and, and creating that belief that, hey, the same things that got you here are the same things that win this game. Now, the margin for error is smaller, and so it comes down to the same things that we talk about every single week, every single week. It starts with your effort. It's the turnover margin. It's having more big plays than the opponent. It's being the least penalized team. Hey, the best players have to play. You don't have to play perfect, but the best players got to lead the way. That's, that's, a, that's a responsibility. Uh, you certainly got to win in the trenches. And you got to be great in the red zone. I mean, it's the same things uh, that win these games. And it's just a, it's a bigger stage. Uh, but the brighter the lights, the more your focus has to be, you know, from the inside out. And it's always, for us, it's about how you play. It's not about who you play. Never. It's just, it's just how you play the game. And if you keep your focus on that, then, uh, you know, you can you not get distracted by the magnitude of the moment. You can, you know, live the moment and, uh, and, and have fun doing it. Coach, I respect that philosophy. You're not trying to reinvent the wheel out here. Offensively, all the focus is on Travis Etienne, Trevor Lawrence. But I really like your receivers. Can you give some love to Rodgers and Powell? Tell us <laughs> what, what makes those guys special? Yeah, well, I mean, those guys are amazing. I yeah. mean, if you'd have told me March 12th that we were going to go into the season and not have Ladson, not have Engada, not have Justin Ross. Right. Uh, I, I mean, I might, I might have, you know. Oh, might no. take, I might have opted out. Uh, <laughs> I might, I might have opted out. Uh, right. <laughs> but, but you know, it's those guys are amazing. Yeah. Because they've stepped up. I mean, Cornell Powell, first and foremost. Like him a lot. You know, here's a kid. Tom, speaking about opting out, speaking about transfer and all that stuff. Here's yes, a sir. kid that could have left. Mm -hmm. Could have left, but he stayed. And I mean, it's not like he's been competing with a bunch of you know uh, uh, scrubs. scrubs. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, exactly. this is Hunter Renfro and yeah. T Higgins and. You know, Absolutely. dudes, uh, yeah. Mike Williams. I mean, he's been here with all those guys, yeah. you know, but he's been grinding and working on his craft and trying to become a craftsman and being coachable. He has been the difference in our team. I mean, he, he and Amari has always been amazing right. since he got there, but he's been the best version of himself this year. And then and then it's just been like flip a coin. Yeah. Who, who, who can play this week? Right. You know, <laughs> Lassen's had a few snaps. He's been hurt, and God has been out. Right. And then E.J. Williams. I think I told y'all somewhere along the line, I yep. said this kid is going to be ready for prime time. Mm -hmm. He's going to be ready for the postseason, and, boy, has he stepped up for us. And so, you know, hey, Lassen we think is, is close to – to getting back where he can he can help us. He played about seven or eight snaps in the in the ACC championship. But okay. uh, those guys have been awesome um, and made big big plays in big moments. Because when you lose all those guys, yeah. what's your focus? Stop the run in the game, right? Yep, exactly. Make them make. Let's see these unproven guys beat us. Yeah. Well, they've done that. We've thrown for more yards than any Clemson team in the history of Clemson, wow. and uh, and we've done it with guys that not everybody was talking about coming into the season. Yeah. When you leave here, what's the next thing you do on game day, magnitude this stage, next thing you're going to do with the team today? Well, i got a meeting at 1045, so we'll do special teams. We'll do offense. We'll do defense. Um, then we'll have a little snacks at 1215, let, let them break a little bit. Chapel at 250. 
Uh, if you want to come over and get a little, get a little, a little of that word good in. word, yeah, yeah, some yeah. that word, uh, <laughs> two fifty, and then uh, we we'll have pregame meal at three fifteen. Uh, we'll have a little walk through at 4:40. Get on the bus at five. Yeah. Come over here to an empty stadium. Empty. And wait <laughs> <to go> Nobody. <laughs> and man, get ready yeah. to play some football yeah. uh, on this wonderful New Year's Day, man. I mean, it's just uh, it's a blessing. Hey, uh, Justin, don't you? He said yeah. something about snacks. Speaking of so, snacks, yeah. coach. Listen, the last time you were on the set, you brought some donuts. You were so <laughs> gracious. I, I brought you some beignets, coach. So hey, I swear feel I'm free to take about. them back with you, share them with the guys. As a matter of <laughs> fact, I, 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 I got one myself, coach. You know. You got your own over oh, here. Come on now. Oh, yeah. hey, it doesn't get any better than this now. Absolutely. I <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. Good friends at Cafe Du Monde. While hey, we hey, enjoy hey, it. I, no offense to Krispy Kreme, all right, right but, right. you know. This I mean, is another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, is, this is another. This is like a different type of donut. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you have to. It's it's the local cultural flavor. Well, you I, get I it right here. Cafe Du Monde now. Yeah. You can't beat it. <laughs> well, enjoy man. that. Hot uh, chocolate. We wish you wish all the luck in the world. Thanks so much for spending time with us today. It means a lot. Happy New Year. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.